I do have optimism now that every large company is at the table, and that wasn't true until fairly recently. There's no major player that says, no, I don't, I don't have to worry about it. So that's, that's a big deal. We, it's like we won the first game or the first inning, and now we can start really moving. Wasn't that the beautiful science of the sun setting on fossil fuels just now? How can we achieve systems change? And the answer to this question is actually surprisingly simple. When do systems change? Systems change if we reach tipping points. And what do you need for a tipping point? You need to crowd in. Something like 10-15% of the economy. Once that happens, the rest of the system moves over. I'm so proud that today we are doing this together with Zurich, a leader in resilience. To be a climate leader, you need to be resilient. You need to look at your climate risks, but you also need to look at climate opportunities to decarbonize. And I think that's the whole point, and I'm so glad that we have a packed room tonight. There's different levels of risk that we talk about with climate for many years risk in business on environmental stuff was very kind of tactical and small and it might be a compliance issue around carbon emissions or something and now we're talking about systemic risk and it really is I mean at the largest level risk to our species risk for our ability to thrive and actually survive the fact that we are standing here together the fact that we have over 200 people coming to our joint event talking the same language having the same very focused approach to make it in place I think is fantastic and to make it very practical. Carbon credits have been a huge topic at Climate Week this year. One of the best thoughts that I heard about carbon credits this week is we need to work to make the tool well understood, make it well understood how to use them correctly, and then folks who aren't using carbon credits correctly, we want to help them understand you know, how they can change the way they use carbon credits. What makes me optimistic is the investment that Zurich has put into resilience, uh, carbon offsets, uh, sustainability. This is very important from our chairman on down. And once again, our customers are asking for this as part of their insurance services. We are all at climate risk. We used, climate used to be that scientific issue that was somewhere in the future. It's here, it's now, it's us. It is a risk to any company with a supply chain because your entire supply chain can be shut down by a fire, a flood. Climate impact is now massive. It used to be, oh, that was a kind of serious storm, wasn't it? Now it wipes out an entire region, it wipes out an entire industry. At the same time, climate solutions are more profitable than the way we're doing business now.